Hey everybody, welcome back once again to Noodlin' Around with your friend, Norrin slash Matt Creamer Audio. I have a treat today. UVI actually contacted me to see if I would be interested in making a video, a Noodlin' Around video, for the new release, uh, String Machines 2. And of course I was interested in that. I, I love UVI's libraries. They, they do very musical things that are, are easy for uh, players like me to uh, easily create things with and um, for something like a string machine uh, I'm like I'm getting up there I'm, I'm a little old for uh, like a video game kind of guy chiptune guy uh, but even still string machines go even further back like they're they're like pre synth kind of um, you know they go back to the 70s so synth were around obviously then but I don't know what string machines actually are or were were they actually was there something analog going in there that was not Voltage or was it voltage? I you know, I don't know the whole history behind string machines But you know what that's not for me to explain because you should probably just have like an actual Guy that knows what the heck is going on to explain that stuff, but what I can do for you guys today is Illuminate what string machines sound like and that's something I can I can speak on because I always love the way string machines sound uh, Especially when you add a nice long uh envelope to them and you know that sounds very the opposite of what I'm usually for like oh man I like to but uh, I actually happen to really enjoy what you can do with string machines and so let's let's show you what I mean by that let's dive in here we go string machines Dus. Um, so I'm gonna start with a patch that I created based off of one of their patches uh, this this was this is like the third time I've opened it, but I, I haven't really studied this. I just wanted to make sure I knew what all the controls were and stuff. What I did with this patch, though, was I basically added a crazy amount of unison and a nice long arc uh, envelope for the filter. And uh, here's what I came up with. on there and what I did this is so sneaky I added a LFO to, to give it like a, a little pulse. And I've set it to be aftertouch. So you can get going like. in that one that was uh, yeah that was based off their patch called uh, dirty synth brass and so we're gonna start now with their presets of which there are many and uh, give you guys a good example of, of what the heck's going on here so they do this quite kind of a lot this is a really common thing in sample libraries where they let you have two different uh, sort of oscillators they call them oscillators but it's actually just Two different sample libraries playing at once. Libraries. Uh, all right, so let's 
you know, maybe no. I'll go to the we'll go to the init patch at the end because uh, that was that was kind of a little hard to wrap my head around at first. But you know, basically, you select between oh my goodness gracious, all of their own little sample libraries for each different string machine that they have. And yeah, like I get in trouble in these videos sometimes because like I kind of laugh at the people who would know what these are. Because I am so far removed from ever having access to these things, like I don't know what they are, but I I know what they sound like, and I and so I, I did a little research on these before I did this video just to hear what some of the string machines actually sounded like, and uh, it didn't really help once I got into the init patch and saw like oh there's a there's a ton uh, and there's no way I can check all of these, uh, all right, but that's a good problem to have. So let's let's go instead to uh, this was something I liked. They have a timeline. Uh, sort of thing for their patches so you can see the earliest string machine all the way to like the latest one and let's see I think I know what this one is so let's load that one up the VP330 so the uh, as the legend goes Let's try this one actually. As the legend goes with these ones. Apparently, uh, Vangelis used these maybe even in the Blade Runner soundtrack. So one, once you say that to me, I just get all loopy like, whoa, I have to have it. I have to see what it does. And so let's see what it does. touch on there I have two of them here yeah so the the way they've got this set up here is you're editing either one of these it's a, just a toggle on or off or both at once and so I only have one making sounds so when I turn that other one on it didn't quite work but here uh, let's see all right what the hell am I looking at here Ooh, all right, well here's your VP330. You get like some strings or some choirs or you can mix them together. Uh, and so I guess if I wanted to mix them together, I would just open up the second one here, but I kind of want to hear what the strings sound like. Here's something I should point out. If I can make these sound playable and I don't know any chords, that should say something. Uh, it should speak something to like what's going on, the power here. So let's just dive through a couple of these. Try what did 1975 sound like? might do here something I've been too, uh, fiddling around with this uh, this cool VST called uh, I don't know if you call this VST because it's outside of the an application that manipulates your what you've played to be a different scale so if I want to do it's kind of lets me play chords Nothing 
learned about that patch that necessarily made me think, whoa, that would sound great with like a diminished scale, but that's going to be a tool in the arsenal going forward for my videos. String man sounds kind of neat. Let's see what the string man sounds like. Oh, that's weird. So in 1974, this was something people would buy. Interesting. Let's maybe get some of that going. Let's try some mod. Maybe, uh... save this one. I've heard of Farfisa before. Let's hear what it sounds like. A little better than the string man. The low end here. It's just the, something I need to do now. I need to hear every single one of them with with this trail on it. Lovely sounding. <clears throat> All right, let's quadra. Interesting that it has no velocity on it. Interesting. I have to mess this up again. Let's just go four this time. Let's go back here. Mod. FX. is CE25. That has to have a ton of reverb on it. Doesn't seem like enough. I like spark verb, but that's not cutting it for me right now. So let's add meow. hear what the Russian opus sounds like. A lot about the 80s. Real quick, I just want to see what 88 sounded like. 
Oh. Let's just hear what the 2014 string sounded like. Not at all what I would think that it would sound like. Let's go. Ow. Let's see what this sounds like when you beef it up. This might sound real gnarly. Sound of 2014. Weird and wild stuff. All right, so that was fun. I like that they added that in there. I don't know if those are separate patches or if they're just uh, uh, ones that they sort of slotted in there so you could see by year. Let's see. I don't know what an ARP would sound like with String Machine, but... <laughs> I definitely get like a synthwave spacey uh, vibe from a lot of these patches.
Cool. Moving on. Here we go. Go to both. That's awesome. All right, pause. I gotta go see what the hell my cat's meowing at. Bad boy! We're back. He pooed. Okay, back on track. I like this. I didn't know it was gonna be that kind of weird. But I dig. I wonder if this has something to do with Tandream. I wonder if any of these have notes anywhere? No. No. And get lucky with this again. No, that other one was just a fluke. Let's try syndrome. Move on. That one could actually sound awesome if I go in here. Let's go Aeolian. C. Boom, boom, boom. The good thing about the, uh, you know, I don't want to confuse everyone, but the good thing about Autotonic is it lets me play chords for arpeggios. Cool. All right, let's go back. Boom. Okay, let's see what animated step is all about. I was expecting. That's 
I'm getting into too much trouble with those ones, so let's go on to the ones that aren't uh, sequenced. Let's hear some of their bases. <laughs> I'm just gonna, this is gonna be my go-to for the whole video. Daft Punk, or Daft Funk you say. I think I would like to hear something like this. Maybe. Let's see what there you got with the sequence melody bass. because the bells are the ones I know how to play the best. That's just one bell. God, I get lost in in digging it. Thank you. 
actually, you know what I should do? Uh, oops, I've had reverb on this whole time. You guys get the idea. It wasn't, it wasn't too much. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it sounded good to me anyways, still. But what I wanted to add was... Little volume shaper, go to... Um, the, after the reverb. off now. Okay, back to the original settings. Oh, no, I should have gone. I'm going to do Dream On After, but what is this one? Emotional. <laughs> Got a little FM in here. Let's hear what this says. Cool. Alright. Let's try one more. Little bell. Let's go to the brass. Here was the original patch for the one that I messed uh, around with at the beginning. Here, what else we got? <clears throat> Little brass action there. Let's try intense brass.
effects on there? No, they don't. Okay, well, let's add my effect back in there. Here it all, it becomes synthy. Thing, see if it. That's a little crazy. Check out super cheesy. Let's try this again. Oops, let's turn off all my guff. Boom. What the hell? Okay. Which one is this? Parfisa. That one's not for writing luscious, luscious soundtracks, I'll tell you that. The effects. Moon broken. Let's try the keys. Keys are very close to bells, and oh, I can play the bells. with UVI libraries they always want the everything but vibrato to be on the mod wheel yeah, surprised they don't have it synced wait do I need to do this yeah Now what I have to do, if I want to sync that oscillator uh, for the uh, vibrato, I would basically have to click on pitch and then see this here and then click that and then I like it when it's at eight triplets. Did it do anything? Am I correct? Oh yeah, okay. Sweet. So if you're if you're wanting to sync their their LFO, that's how you would do that. Let's keep going here. Terminator all of a sudden. Pretty cool. <coughs> cool. Let's try Road Bell. Ooh, I 
like that. young man. This is all day. All freaking day. Synth clap. He sits on that chair and just meows at me. Here's what I think I can do with this. Let's go back to the autotonic. Let's add the harmonic minor scale. I would never in my life be able to uh, play the harmonic minor scale with chords. Like, I would have to memorize all the chords, and I just don't have the time to do that at this point in my life. If you have a kid, definitely teach him how to play piano. And baseball, for that matter. Alright, we got some leads. Leads are always weird, because uh, everyone kind of has their own idea what they think a lead should be. At least they have the vibrato on the lead. <laughs> Sounds kind of like a CPS2 arcade kind of game. Uh, like Capcom arcade games kind of had sounds like that. <laughs> Dirty. Funk city. I like that. 
Let's try a new a first for the series. Maybe I'll stop plucking away. And let me just actually hammer out a little sequence here. Not used to leaving everything on the screen, but I want this one to have the uh, portamento, and then let's just end it there. Pro tip for everyone here. This is uh, just, I don't know, maybe I could do a separate video for this one day, but um, if you're trying to enter in like really intricate pitch bends and stuff, so you want, uh, say, this last note to slide up into this pitch bend, and now you're like, damn, how do I know if that's at zero or not? Like, yeah, and it, it isn't even. I, it's like, it's minus one. Thanks, Cubase. Like, come on. And this is Cubase 6, so maybe that's my problem for still using Cubase 6, Windows 7, whatever. Get off my back. Uh, <laughs> but what I have to do is open up this uh, thing here, which I think is the status line. Yeah, or one of these things, info line. Yeah. So you click on that, you open up your info line, and then to, to do it quickly, you basically go like, all right, I'm trying to get this quick like I would in chiptunes. And then you just highlight the last one. Or, well, if... highlight the last one, and then just double click up here and enter zero. And that's how I would kind of make sure. Or this this one always goes a little easier. See this first one? Oh, I botched it up. It wasn't exactly at zero, so I'd have to go up here and type in zero, and that's how you can get like sort of hand handcrafted tight little curves and stuff. Yo, tight curves. <laughs> uh it's PG. Let's keep it simple. Alright, next one. Alright, you guys have seen enough of this little goofball. Say goodbye. Be a good boy. Get hyped. <laughs> it's a weird one. I don't know why it gets super loud. <laughs> There you big. Coming from a chiptune background as well, I have trouble with the portamento stuff. So I'm used to having just one polyphony, and uh, if you hit another note, it just starts the next note, so it's like re-triggers it completely. Yeah, you see how like it just gets loud in the middle there, but that's uh, you know that's not that's not their problem. That's just a problem I have. Portamento in general. I can't really remember the Inception soundtrack. So. But I'll 
take their word for it that that sounds like it. Organs. some of this. Alright, let's do my thing. I want some of this. to this as well. instruments, especially if they're plucked. Where it's got like a organ in the background and an organ in front. See if I can make these chords sing. Let's try something silly. Dorian's usually kind of fun sounding. <laughs> Some fusion, fusion jazz blues. Why don't I just, man, keep picking the stupidest scales. So let's just try the Dorian scale. The Dorian mode. couldn't save it. One of these days I'll learn some keys and you will all be able to enjoy this video a little more. This is one of the few patches that actually does have a, a release on it. Hey, do you guys like watching hour-long videos where some random ball goes through every preset and sample library? I sure do. So I don't know where to go from here. Just guessing. This is a great patch. Hit. All right, well, if they're going to be that good, one by one. hard. <clears throat> no, my 
sound good on this one. Uh, I have to open it up from effects rack because for some reason it didn't install on its own. But the crystallizer. Been messing around with this a little more lately. This was actually one of the first VST effects I ever bought. And I don't know why I bought it. I thought it would give me like 80s sounds, but it's like, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call this. Up. That was one note away from being a good riff. Anyways, yeah, uh, that one already sounded kind of tweaky. Like, this is with Crystallizer off. So, add a little tweak to it. Actually, I'm curious now if I add... Uh, crystallizer sounds good on pads, so let's hear it on that first pad that I like so much. Sold. That's good. Oh, that's good. Gem pad. Hmm. Pretty standard stuff. Jar is back. John Michael Jar. Michelle? I don't know. I've never actually pronounced it out loud. You know what I want to hear with this one? Sorry, everyone. We don't need to add crystallizer, we know it would sound amazing. Still so many to go. Alright, it's not very ominous. Maybe because I'm playing it too high. Okay, it gets a little more ominous there. Retro BBC. Production 
company logo in there. All right. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Koto. Actually, let's get really cheesy with this. Let's get stupid. Uh, that sounded super exotic. Now we're getting stupid. wrong notes once you turn this on. Actually, was awesome. That was awesome. All right. Oh my god. We're just going now. We're blazing. God, these sound good. That is a go-to freaking synth sound. Like I used to go to like the Juno or something for that sound. I would just go to this the string, and they get it right. Spiders in here lately. Ah, yeah, damn it! There's another one on the wall. Little tiny white ones, crawling all around. Reminds me of that scene from uh, Arachnophobia where they were all coming down. <laughs> one tried to land on my dinner today. In the middle of the kitchen. Insanity. Gross. Uh, yeah. What did I want to do here? Let's try the crystallizer on that one. <laughs> Let's try one more T3, maybe a Terminator, maybe we'll get lucky. Cool. Oh dear lordy, voices. It's definitely something you'd hear Vangelis do. Sorry, I gotta do this. Gross! Gross! Blech. One crawling in a light that I have behind my monitor. Let's see if it's shadow. 
Usually I capture and release spiders, but these ones are so small that like you can't you can't even do it. Bubble voices. I could be the next Douglas Bubble Trousers. Guys, I'm running out of steam here. Marathon video. <clears throat> it was mostly the voices that Vangelis used in Blade Runner. They were mostly in the background. But I didn't reference it, so I can't really I can't remember what it exactly sounded like. I wish I could give them more. treatment here, but I am, I am spent. This has been a long video. Hot in here, surrounded by spiders. And let's just finish it off with showing you what the init preset is. Full on Selena. That's a lot. That's so many. Like which one? Which one do you even go for? Alright, you get the idea. There is a lot to do with this. This is pro like, this is the largest string collection of string machines that I've ever seen in my life. I'd say it's a mission accomplished on uh, UVI's part. Let's call it there. Whew! Getting the monitor eyes. Alright, that was awesome. There's some real gems in there and it's really easy to make it your own, like that first patch I played you guys, that was literally the first thing I did once I opened up this uh, this library, uh, so I'm glad they let you go in with Falcon, and you might be able to do it with the workstation as well, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but to go in and just sort of add more unison, make it just sound ridiculously big, and uh, you know, it, I, I feel like even though these are old, like from the, as far back as the 70s, like they can, they can have pretty modern uh, applications to them uh, so that's your that's your string machines too I think it's pretty dang awesome um, it just got released so I'm sure there's a, uh, a sale going on for it so check it out especially if this video seemed enticing to you at all there was no no curtains no magic there that's exactly what it's like to use especially if you're a guy like me that doesn't know anything about string machines and is not even that good on the keyboard uh, get yourself autotonic if you really are awful uh, that's it for me. Please follow me on Twitter because that's where you will know when I'm doing anything like posting no, new videos or or releasing new soundtracks or you can visit me on mattcreameraudio.com which basically is the same thing but it has all the links archived kind of in a one contained area. Other than that, I'd say that's a wrap. We'll see you guys on the next video. I got two more Avenger videos I want to do in the next little while here um, for some of their expansions that came out. So look for those very shortly. That's it for me. I gotta get back to work. I got some songs to make. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys next time. Feel free to subscribe to this channel.